So it's kind of hard to see, but I heard some splashing last night in the corner over here, and I wondered why. And this is the catfish's enclosure, the red-tailed catfish. If you look down there by that rock, the convicts had their babies after I did a gravel back. They moved their babies back there, and they hatched, and they're all over the place along with the meadows. There's actually fathead meadows in here with convict babies. You see them swimming around? I didn't even notice them. Oh my gosh. They're moving them. They're moving as I'm uh, doing this. But the shark was over there trying to eat them. So that's kind of crazy. I, that's nuts. They're down there in the trees because the sharks, are, the other fish are trying to eat them. I feel bad now because I just added these minnows. But it doesn't matter. Those, those uh, convicts will keep doing it. The catfish was making all kinds of noise last night. Probably trying to protect them. Because honestly, she doesn't care about baby fish. She doesn't even eat, eat the uh, feeder minnows anymore. Those are actually more just for my looks of the pond. I like to have a uh, smaller fish to clean up uneaten food. But, and to feed the ones that won't eat anything else. Like the peacock bass that are from uh, wild caught from Brazil. Uh, but I see babies and I see that shark sneaking in trying to eat them. So I'm going to go ahead and try to feed them. Something here. Let me see if I can get some food to reach over there. I got flakes and pellets, so I'm going to go pellets first. But I got to turn the pump back on. What sucks too is I don't have uh, any baby proof uh, filters in this tank. It's all just big giant open bore filters. So if a baby gets sucked in, it gets sucked in. But convicts, dude, that's crazy that they're even alive. putting a bunch of food in here and then I'm going to go ahead and turn my pump back on because I cleaned the intake and then it's going to push the food around there we go and that should give the babies plenty to eat along with the parents yep and the shark the shark actually likes it too see I made a pile here in the corner and here come the little fish and maybe those uh convicts will get uh good at blending in with the minnows and uh getting to the food because minnows will all start flocking up towards the light to eat it's pretty cool actually that's why i like to keep them stocked and then i grab a couple every uh, every couple of days and then feed these big guys out here Except for him, he eats tilapia or worms or um, pellets. He actually likes pellets, but nobody else likes pellets in there, so it's hard to feed him. But yeah, I can't believe there's convicts, baby convicts in the pond. This is only a 150 gallon, so to have convicts, fathead minnows, a red-tailed catfish, and she's so big, she doesn't really like care, but she caught that shark eating them and the pleco's probably been swooping in and trying to eat them that's just crazy convicts always find a way man they were actually thrown in there as food but 
Not convicts. <laughs> See, and that food is now going to the back and settling down backwards. See? So, the shiners are all out. That's kind of cool, man. I was wondering what was going on. There was lots of splashing all over the floor last night. I had to put rugs out. The catfish was protecting them because she doesn't mind when they come around. <laughs> That's crazy. She actually only eats uh, what I make her. She doesn't really like feeders. She hates when I put too many in and she runs into them.